Hi guys, uh, I'm happy to have you all here and to present today our little project. At, uh, we all of us are from uh, Karpin High School, a college in Baku, Romania. So, to the table of content, uh, this is what we're going to present to you guys today. Uh, we structured the presentation like with an existing project that we already have in our school and uh, a project, an initiative that we come up with as the uh, students. We'll start off with uh, the existing project, which is a, a water. Uh, uh, what a robot! Which this robot uh, checks the pure, how pure certain water is, uh, the levels of uh, chemical that's in it, and uh, it could tell you like something like uh, like the oxygen level in the water and uh, also all kind of stuff. Now, what we want to do at our high school is. Uh, build water tanks that could uh, uh, collect the rainwater because in our county, Baco, it's uh, quite often that the pipe, uh, the water pipes break down so having our own, our own water tanks is going to give us more freedom and uh, be independent as a school. What we need is what the water tanks, the robot itself, which uh, our colleagues in the high school build and the water filters, which uh, aren't that hard to obtain. Uh, the next project is already finished. It's the health painting on uh, our campus on, on the toilet wall. There is a painting that purifies the air, like uh, from impurities. And I was walking one day through the campus and I saw the like the primary school that was being renovated. And I said, why not? Why the high school is always neglected? So that's how I got the idea for uh, repainting repaint classroom floor with that kind of um, paint. So the paint actually collects not just the oils from the cars, but the dust as well. So if we take it from classes and repaint the classes, like we can help students to have clear in the class, and in the same time, so 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 we can cut like so don't have to uh, invest so much money. We will ask the students to be creative and paint the walls themselves. So in that case, they can uh, have clear a uh, clear area in the class, and at the same time be creative and express themselves how they feel and the what they want to see in the school. Um, so we have in our school like uh, we introduced the solar panels for the renewable energy and uh, I mean you can see we, when they have a turbine with horizontal shaft and solar panels use in school to produce green energy for us. Um, they are increasingly popular and effective for the sustainability in our school and have a positive impact. Uh, they are a great choice to the local or small businesses or school universities to be independent and uh, even save, like I say, energy. So we don't use coal or another type of gas and uh, these do not pollute the air we live in. So um, they are even have a life maintenance for like 25 years, so you don't have to repair them or you just need to leave, uh, use some water to keep them up. And I think it's a great idea to use the green energy, if I can say like that. And I guess that's it. <laughs> Uh, one of the most effective solutions could be geothermal energy. 
uh, it's an energy that comes from the earth through the exchange of temperature between the earth's core through underground rocks and fluids on the surface. Uh, this is a uh, non volatile energy that has three energy directions heating, electricity, and uh, geothermal pumps. Um, I think that this energy has a friendlier impact on the environment and it will teach students more about sustainability and it will make them more aware and uh, responsible about the planet that we live in and uh, it could uh, provide a better future for the next generation. Uh, but to implement this project in our school, we have to follow a few steps. Uh, feasibility assessment, to conduct a feasibility assessment to determine if implementing a geothermal system is technically, economically and geologically viable. Planning and design, uh, to work together with specialists. Uh, then securing funding, uh, we have to identify sources of uh, funding for implementing this in the school. Uh, the installations of the geothermal system, uh, which means that we are going to collaborate with specialists to implement this in the school. Testing and commissioning. After installation, the geothermal system needs to be tested to ensure it is functioning properly. Uh, staff training and student education. Uh, we have to see if the staff is uh, properly trained to use uh, this system. Uh, monitoring and system maintenance uh, to guarantee that the geothermal system is working proper properly. Um. And now uh, I'd like to show you guys uh, another project that was done in our high school. It's called the Chipo in Circolo. Don't waste food, the Tinovators. Uh, this project uh, aims to identify effective solutions to prevent food waste and raise awareness of the need to protect the environment through circular economy. This was also a project that was done uh, with the help of the Erasmus project and uh, it uh, helped us to identify the problems that we are facing with the food waste. Uh, I don't know if you guys know but uh, Romania is uh, well known for uh, buying and wasting a lot of food, like we, are, we like to buy a lot of food, but we don't always need it. And uh, we've come up with the idea of uh, Carpenter's Green Garden. Uh, in this uh, new project, this initiative, uh, we would like to build a garden uh, in, the, in our campus. So in our campus we used to have a little zoo uh, garden, and now we'd like to build this green garden to plant our own crops and uh, vegetables and fruits. So uh, our students, uh, starting from primary school to high school, could uh, learn uh, about... Well, learn about um, how hard it is to grow food, how important it is, how to cook it, how to be a healthier person, and how to... Yeah, how to live a healthy lifestyle. In conclusion, uh, our college has a huge potential to become uh, sustainable and uh, not only that, but to fully rely on itself when it comes to water, uh, food and uh, energy. And uh, the only difficulties that we're currently facing are uh, insufficient time, financial resources and uh, bureaucratic factors. But uh, I'm sure we're going to be able to overcome those and uh, become the best high school, high school that we can. Thank you so much, guys.